Now, I don't know where y'all are getting these ideas from. This one guy DM'd me, and he told me was very strange. He texted me in my DMs and he told me, this might sound a bit weird, but just be honest, are you being forced to record? Why are you recording in a closet? Why, when you record, you almost change clothes in every video? I am not being forced to record. I don't know why I film in a closet. I guess because like, I don't know. I just did it one time and I just kept doing it. I record my videos in different days. That's why I change clothes a lot. Then he proceeds to say, you cry during your story time. When you talk about these dark things, it's almost as if you're going through them. I'm like, bro, no. I'm just acting it out. Can I not be an actor? I'm, guys, nothing is going on with me, I promise. It's not like I have some creepy guy looking at me right now as I'm recording this video. It's not like, it's not, that's the case. I, it's not like that's the case. Then that gave me the idea of a girl named Kate Yup. This case, this girl, Kate Yup. She's a YouTuber. As you guys know, I'm all about this Kate Yup situation. I don't know, we need to look at this. We're gonna take a look at a mukbanger that has been possibly kidnapped. It's been almost two years since this YouTuber ever posted on YouTube. Today, set up a challenge. Now, her video was getting very dark very, very quick because in her video, she would have some bruises on her arm. And people almost thought that she was being forced to do these mukbangs. Because then she had a busted lip as well. And then she made another mukbang video and her teeth fell out. As she is eating food, a tooth falls out of Kate's mouth. So it was getting really, really strange because while all of these things are happening, but it don't stop there because in one of her videos, she kept doing this little tapping thing where she was eating and everybody thinks she's doing something subliminal, some cold type of things to call out for help. Well then, they noticed when she was posting again, she would write down these sentences. As you can see, the first sentence started out with H. The second sentence start out with E. The third sentence start out with L. And the fourth sentence start out with P. The beginning of them words spell out help and people notice this. Then she put another sentence and she just will capitalize some letters, right? Then you see SOS perfectly capitalized in the middle of the sentence. So people think she's kidnapped. Maybe she's being forced to really do these mukbangs. Or something really strange is going on. They eat as if they're almost starving. I've never seen anyone eat like this. People have started to think that she is being held captive or being forced to make this content. And yeah, she posted on her social media that she's perfectly fine. Nothing is going on with her. She's not being forced. But why? She was talking in third person. Something very dark going on behind these mukbangs. It's not just your average girl doing a mukbang. But then, People started to believe this. This could have possibly been the noise of her eating, the sound of the food. So that one is like a eh, because that could be very much true. And still to this day, since that last mukbang video, it has not been no signs of her. And then I was thinking to myself, something darker going on with us YouTubers. This Asian girl, she would post on her YouTube channel, she was an actress. And she would post like volume one, volume two, volume three. And as you can see, it says volume 45. She skipped volume 46 and 47 and picked volume 48. Annyeong. Now this is important. This actress ended up dying. And then people dig deep into this case. So on her last video, around the 48 mark, her body starts to glitch. And if she's editing these videos, why would she allow this to stay on her video? As almost as she wanted to tell us something. And this will be the most creepiest glitch for a long time. Remember, it started around the 48 mark. Ends around the 1 minute and 48 mark. People was looking at the clock and they noticed it said 8.30, which means it was 8. And on the 6, 8 times 6 is 48. She was found dead 48 hours later. And in that video, she spam 48, 48, 48, 48, 48, around a four minute and eight mark. Still doesn't end there. She was born 1984. She weighed 48 kg. Oh, 
Y'all, this is giving me the goosebumps because what the hell is going on? When I was watching her very last video, I noticed something that nobody else noticed. When she had the door open, it's dark in the hallway. She turned around as if she heard someone. Mind you, the police did do an investigation on this case and this girl. They did say she died from suicide attempt, but they never came out to say how exactly she died. No, guys, because serious, I really believe this girl was trying to tell us something. You see how in the whole entire video, her camera is angled in this certain way. But at the end of the video, it faces the hallway. She looked behind herself to see if somebody was there. As she's combing her hair, it's like a, a repeat of chop to her neck. Like she's really, really telling us something. We all have our own opinions, but I believe that this was on purpose. And the title, she did say ignore the glitch. So she knew it was there. This video just get, it's just so strange to me. And it's not too far fetched that somebody could have really been in her house when she looked behind her. Like this one man who came to this house. It was just a lady at the house. Her boyfriend was gone. Are you sure? I just rang your doorbell because I have a couple of questions. Are you sure? Luckily, the girlfriend didn't answer the door. She was scared. This man looked kind of creepy. So she called her boyfriend. The boyfriend connected his phone to the doorbell and listened to what this man said to the boyfriend, what he was going to do to his girlfriend. Are you sure? Who are you? Hey, I just had a couple questions. I just wanted to ask you about the uh, uh, baby girl. Yeah, can you hear me? Uh, what I'm looking for is for the girl that's in the house to come out here because I'm a and Do you have her open the door? The girl that's on the other side of this door when she lets me in. I, I want her to have a knife and a gun. Yes, he was going to basically grab her and do things out of her will to her and then murder her. Now, I didn't say this in the video, but the guy actually tried to open the door. Look at his hand. Are you sure? So keep your doors locked. Keep everything locked. You never know who's out there. Okay, fine. Yes, us YouTubers, we go through a lot. But you TikTokers are not safe at all. Don't think that there's no theories behind some TikTokers. What about this girl smiling and sitting? She was just posting videos of her just smiling at her phone. People looked and noticed that this was odd. Some users was like, if you need help, wear some green eyeshadow. And she did just that. To verify if this is really true wear a red shirt and some red makeup if you really need help and she wore a red shirt she didn't wear red makeup though maybe she didn't have red makeup so people was thinking that he's really kidnapped there was time when she broke character and she just stopped smiling I digged everywhere for this girl. I try to look for her Instagram. I try to see if people had information on YouTube. I try to see information from Google. I could not find nothing. Her last video was from 2020. And there y'all guys have it. The dark side of YouTubers. Now y'all want some more scary videos or some mystery type video. Hit the like button. Follow me on my Instagram. Why not? For the ones who really love me. When y'all click subscribe. Even if you subscribe. Press that bell and click all. Trust me. I just cut it off in your will, y'all. Yeah. I just cut it off with your.